So just a few funny things would happen. I'd do the song in certain areas and it'd stand up. I'd start doing the other song, it'd sit back down. <laughs> but uh, I've had a lot of good reaction with it. Peyton Place. So glad you tuned in once again. Guys, so glad you joined me once again. Today's place on Peyton Place is Asheville, North Carolina, July 23rd, 1975. Quite a lot going on behind the scenes in Elvis's life at this time, and the concerts kind of reflected the crazy things that were going on in his life. <laughs> but we're going to check out something very unique that happened on this particular night. So guys, if you're ready, that's right. Okay, gang, it's Elvis Concert Series, summer of 1975. Elvis and the Entourage are finishing up a 17-day run in Asheville, North Carolina, and we're gonna look at the last two concerts, starting on July 23rd. This has been a turbulent tour with much drama behind the scenes, and Elvis's erratic behavior has been showing up on stage as well as his personal life. This night, though, he looked like a Greek god in his gypsy suit. Just one month after his mini facelift, Elvis performs three shows in Asheville, and it's on the second night where he pulls out all stops. There were many photos of this concert that were released when I was a child, and I just wanted to look back and see what concert they actually came from. Musically, the show is very good, but at one point, Elvis shows his frustration with the audience not reacting fast enough. Another surprise in the concert, when a determined fan yells to Elvis to turn around, it reminds him of the old 60s number, Turn Around Look At Me. In what's said to be the only recorded version of it, Elvis teases the audience with a few lines from the song. Now guys, we move on to the next night, Thursday, July 24th, where Elvis not only changes the lives of thousands, but of two very special people right down front. <gasps> As the band thundered into CC Rider and Elvis strolled the stage, a woman down front told her husband, Elvis is motioning for you. Lloyd Perry went up to the stage with his hand shaking as Elvis bent down and took a $16,000 ring off his pinky finger and handed it to Lloyd and said, hold on to this, it may help you someday. Perry said a security guard told him to put the ring in his pocket as he was already being made offers on the ring. Wow. Just two songs later, Perry said, Elvis removed his guitar and tossed it in his direction also. He had his hand on the neck but figured Elvis would want it back later and let the person beside him have it. And this wasn't just any guitar, guys. This was Elvis's 69 Gibson Dove, his most photographed guitar, as well as the guitar he used in the Aloha from Hawaii satellite concert. Here's an unbelievable shot from the back of the audience that surfaced, showing both men on the front row, with Lloyd Perry on the left and Mike Harris on the right, who has his hands around the neck of the Gibson Dove. Harris himself, a lifelong Elvis fan, held on to the guitar for 41 years. He finally sold it in 2016 where it brought in a whopping $334,000. And as for the ring, Lloyd Perry sold that in 2009 when it brought in a whopping $107,500. Later on the night of the 24th, Elvis was captured on a couple of photos heading for Memphis. 
There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That was some crazy stuff that went on there in Asheville, North Carolina. Wouldn't have been great to have been one of those concerts. Like we said, some crazy things going on in Elvis's life, and the concerts reflected that. Hope you enjoyed that one. Keep liking, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, guys, keep rocking.